Hello, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to long jump. Um, even if you have like shorter arms, this tutorial sh will still work for you, but it just will be a lot harder. I'm not warmed up yet, so I might not be able to make the jumps or the jump, but so let's go. So first we're only gonna learn one jump but if you can do this jump with just a little bit more practice you should be able to get the other jumps so this jump there to there a lot of people say it's easy with long arms it's really easy but short arms it's not so much so what you want to do is you want to like throw yourself more forward don't try to go high um you can like go high and forward but like the more you throw yourself forward the further you're gonna go um, also, when you jump, you can crouch and jump, uh, like, go up. So, like, jump, crouch, up. Jump, crouch, up. You get a little bit more height. So, with all of that in mind, you just go, oh, I missed the branch, of course. <laughs> That's funny. And if you guys know, put the, um, finger painters in the comments because I'm not sure who got the finger painter. Um, let's go. Yeah, see, I can't make it all the time, but I can make it some times. Um, I'm gonna try to go more in depth, but like, so pretty much when you're up here, you wanna know how to jump pretty far. So let's just say, let's just, just say, Oh my god, I can't do anything today. I lose tracking too easily. Let's just say you need to be able to jump from here to that wall. You need to be able to jump like to this corner right there. If you're able to do that, you should be able to do the long jump. It's just the matter of getting to the very corner of the branch. So, making it, and flick your hand. Like, it makes you reach a little further, so I can't reach this wall right now. Like, I can't reach it, but, wait. Can't reach it, but if I flick, I can almost touch it. Like, like I can't reach it right now, but flick, I just touched it. See? So if you flick, you can flick when you jump. It might give you a little bit more height, but or distance. But I haven't used the flick to get more distance. But like you can try. Like it might get you more airspeed, but like it might not like actually work. So pretty much, yeah. You just go at the very edge crouch you don't have to crouch um you can play space abuse by taking a step forward and doing it that's what i kind of have to do sometimes like oh i almost made that one but yeah you need to play space abuse sometimes which can be a little bit annoying but if you can if you have a big play space you should be able to just go and make it. I touched it, but I didn't make it. So, hope this tutorial helped. Um, I'll go over it one more time, though. So, let's just go from here to there. Um, throw really hard. Um, hand all the way out when you throw. Um, or arm. Throw, like straight, not up too much. Crouch and jump. And it should, maybe I can make this, hopefully. Oh, I didn't even have to crouch or jump. That was easy. But yeah, you get, you might get it. You might not. Um, you will eventually get it. But yeah. So step forward also, if you're like really close like this, like, like that. And you don't, you don't hit your head, but like, you can like almost touch it. You can take a step forward and flick your hand like 
Um, also, flicking your hand can be used to get to places, like, like to get to places faster than you would normally. Like, that's normally, and this is a flick. See? Big difference. So, that's how to long jump, even with short arms. Um, that's the end. Goodbye.